We just arrived at Halfway Lake. We got into our site. This park is huge with three separate sites. One offering electrical, one just tents, and the other a mix of both. We're headed over to check out the beach. Let's see what the beach looks like. The beach. Probably a good way to wind off the trip. you for the night dude. <laughs> see you later we're gonna give you a tour of the unit that we've actually been traveling into all these different cities this is a rental from outdoor travel thank you so much to the crew down at outdoor travel and we're traveling in a forest river fr 332 foot rv quite big unit you gotta see the inside all right we're going in don't forget to take your shoes off so this RV can travel with eight people because there's eight seatbelts, but can sleep up to 10 people. You have the upper bunk bed here, which Naya claimed right from the beginning. It goes up when the vehicle is in motion and down for night. Pull out here, pull out from where the table is. Bunk beds hold two people and then the back master bedroom, which is a king size bed. Awesome. Now the kitchen, not big, but it does the job. Three burner stove, oven, microwave, of course a full service sink. The beauty thing about this whole RV is this insane fridge. Check this out. It's like, I mean, I don't know if our fridge at home is this big. We've been eating all the food that we can. For those who like to watch TV, three TVs. One in the front, one in the middle, and one in the master bedroom. And one outside. So we actually watched the Olympics outside the other day. And then the bathroom. A shower, roomy, toilet, sink. All you need. Hello. Now you can actually go totally off the grid with this RV because it does hold gray water, black water, which is obviously the dirty stuff. Uh, it's propane and electric all at the same time. We've been actually lucky enough to have power throughout this whole trip, except for the provincial park here at Halfway Park because we have no water, no sewer, so it's just electrical. So we've been trying to house the water as much as possible and using the facilities. Now, in the captain's area, it's quite roomy. And Ray and I have been doing this together back and forth for the whole trip. All the controls, including the leveling off over here, uh, your lights, even a battery boost in case you leave all your power on. You can actually hit the battery boost, start your RV up like that because of all the battery power you have in the back. The screen actually uh, has lots of uh, functionality to it, including a camera while you're driving because there's cameras on the outside of the RV on each side and in the back helps you see all around you while you're driving. So much viewage when you want it to be private. We just close the shade. No trip is set without the captain's hat. So that's our RV. We love it. We've had a great time in it. Um, easy to keep clean, yep. easy to maintain. We think it's nine out of 10. Um, there's definitely use to this vehicle. It's a 2017, so it's been out on the road. And this is our first time doing it, and I think we made it out okay. And we're like first time campers here. Yeah. We've never really camp camps. Well, big thank you to Rachel's dad because he's yes. actually made this trip happen for us. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Ray. We totally appreciate it. Uh, if you're interested in riding an RV, why don't you check out our outdoor travel? Go on up on their website and see what they have. Uh, there's all kinds of different levels for you, and they'll take care of you fantastically. Like, is that a word? Fantastically? So it is, is it, now. It is now. That's it. So here we are in our section of the campground, which is Wild Rose. It's the first section when you come in, and it's just kind of a big loop. If you go further down, there's actually room for 200 
sites with lots of little hiking paths, two beaches, playgrounds. So it's got a lot to do, lots to hike on, and bike ride, and it's really good. Inside the park, there's actually a great general store that has everything from firewood to candy to ice cream to anything you would need for the campsite right here, along with rentals like canoes and kayaks and so much more. Whatever you need, it's going to be right here. The facilities are actually kind of nice too. I mean, this is a porta potty that actually flushes. All better? Come here, push this button. Yeah, push it here. Why normal? So Rachel, of course she's synonymous with her ultimate questions. She's always wondering the, the fantastic information and what ifs and all that. Now what did you ask? It says 20 kilometers per hour. I'm wondering if you run faster than 20 kilometers per hour, do you get in trouble? No? I mean, you're not motorized. Run fast from 20 kilometers now? I don't know, maybe. All the wonders. I'm gonna go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's a pretty big platform around. Think this is enough? I'm trying to find one big one for the bottle. So you need a picture of one so you can follow it. I don't need to follow it, just do it. So we are building something very traditional, at least on the highways of Ontario. Nuktuk. Nuktuk. Yeah, we think it's called that. It's a symbol of peace and togetherness, uh, definitely through the indigenous and native communities. And it's extremely important in a time, especially now. Uh, we're gonna build one right outside of our camp, which is right over there. Let's get building. because it's all about balancing and balancing the rocks properly and taking our time and enjoying the sure. moment. Cool, yeah, appreciating nature and utilizing nature to create a memory and uh, create peace and show prosperity with all of us. And I don't know if you really can catch it or not, but the bottom base rock is the shape of a heart. It's actually the shape of a heart. Julio, here we go. <laughs> awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Really getting into this whole camping thing, like... Maybe Magoo isn't such a Magoo anymore. Oh, I'm definitely a Magoo, but... I don't know, it's so quiet and peaceful here, but it's just a whole different world, and... We're in the mountains, we're up north, just north of, uh, sorry, south of Timmins, by about an hour and a half. I'm really, really enjoying it. I just have a question. Where's the other half of the lake? Half Way Lake. Where's Not other, Half Lake. Where's the other half of the Way Lake? What do you mean halfway? But halfway, between halfway Tim's and Timmins and... I don't know. Half of the lake? Halfway through the lake? Halfway. Halfway up the lake? Halfway down the lake? The lake? Over the lake? The lake? Maybe no lake? Oh my god. <laughs> so this sign says that we need to bear proof our 
her unit. I'll give her to Naya. Yeah. Because all she does is eat and sleep. She's a bear. Whoopsie. So this sign is for Rachel. Pas coupé les arbres ni enlevé le corps. Which means? Don't pick the stuff off the ground. That stuff? Leave it off the ground. Because Rachel really wanted to pick that stuff off the ground. And this one's and for then Poppy. Th this one is definitely for Poppy. No excessive noise at any time. And that's a real challenge for that man. Noise he, wants, is... he wants to talk to everybody, yeah. say hi to everybody, just to get attention from everybody. Can't be he, he's a noise maker. Well, it's our last night, so we're good. Hello! <laughs> Black cherry? I love it. Hey Ray, we should do a peach, fuzzy peach, peach nips shot as for our last night here. Yes, we should. We should. It feels, feels similar actually, like we've done that before. Deja vu. Deja vu. Bring some more. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to do a celebratory shot for our very last night here of our RV trip. Thank you so much Thank Ray you. for making this You're possible. Welcome. Great time. You guys are fantastic. Fun games. Fun games. Good fire. Good Somebody got a bloody nose. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but thank you so much. Yep. We really appreciate this. We appreciate everybody. And uh, mm, cheers. You guys are welcome anytime. Yeah. So far, but we're about an hour away from home. But we weren't leaving until we actually ended up stopping right here at Wata Station for Mrs. H's famous fish and chips. And boy, oh boy, this is going to be tasty. I guess Mrs. H isn't around, is she? <laughs> oh, really? So Mrs. H isn't here, but we're going to enjoy her fish anyway. Mm. So there it is. It's as good as a commercial. Fries are good. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. H's Fish and Chips up on Muskoka Road 38 at Wata Station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there she goes. Another trip in the books. And it was such an amazing trip. We had an amazing time. A very special thank you to those guys right there, Outdoor Travel. If you are traveling or thinking about an RV and purchasing, renting, or leasing, come and see the crew down here. A very special thank you to Blair and Pam and everybody on the rental crew. You guys rock. Um, but we had an absolute blast. And uh, we hope to do it again, and we'll bring you guys along for sure. But until then, safe journey. Take care. Lily pad. Five-year-old is grabbing things and bringing them to you at the beach. <laughs> 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 Mommy, look what I found! <laughs> 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 <laughs>